Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on interesting topics of modern Python programming and in this particular video we are going to look into named tuple a part of Python collection. I believe that all Python programmers have heard about tuples but named tuples gives some extra meaning to tuples especially the contents of the tuple. So let's go ahead and look into this. From the Python documentation, it says that named tuples assign meaning to each position in a tuple and allow for more readable self-documenting code. Which means whatever name tuple is, it makes life easier for programmers. It has nothing to do with the functionality or functional difference between tuples and named tuples. So by all means, it is a tuple. It is created to give more readable self-documenting code to the programmer. So to use tuple, we will have to import tuple from the collection because it is part of a collection and here is how we create tuples. We will create tuple by calling name tuple and passing two parameters. First, what is the name of your name tuples and what are the individual index of the tuples will look like. Now, in this particular case, individual index, you just consider that, you know, columns of the database, okay? What is the type of those columns? So in here, I have created a named tuple called channels and it has two parameters, which means it represents index zero of the tuple and index one of the tuple. Index zero is channel name, index one is content type. And I have created my named tuples. Here is how our name tuple will look like, okay? It is the channels, the name of the name tuple is channels. Let's see how we are gonna go ahead and use this. So we can create a name tuple NT and providing the name of the channel and what it talks about, types of content, because this is what we have created, right? The zeroth index will be channel name. The first in index will be content type. So here I am creating a code sports channel, this channel, right? Name of the channel is code sports, content type is programming, okay? And if we go ahead and see how it looks like, here is how it looks like. The channel's name tuple consists of channel name is equal to code sports, content type is equal to programming. So instead of name tuples, if we had created tuples, we could only see code sports and programming at index zero and one position respectively. But in this case, we know the index zero position represents the channel name and index one position represents channel type or content type. Now let's create another one similar. Since I have my different channel insightful Dutch where I talk about life beyond programming, here is how I create it and here is how it looks like. Okay, so if I go ahead and, you know, compare these two tuples, okay, so whenever someone sees this, they have the information that, you know, what all index represents. Now, for one or two index at this example, it may look, you know, not that much necessary, but if you are creating a tuple with, you know, tens or even maybe more than that parameters, it would be good to know what each parameters represents. And if you're creating some mathematical function where you are passing x equal to this, y equal to this, maybe it will be useful there also, okay? Now, just like, you know, normal tuples, we can see what are there in the individual index items. We can see that there is no problem with that. We can do that the way we do with normal tuples, but we can also see things with this notation. There is no official name for this particular thing I am aware of. So. I am free to call it as kind of, you know, column type access. So if I just say the name tuple dot, you know, the channel name, I'll get the name, content type, I'll get the type, okay? So it doesn't changes the internal functionality and behavior of tuple, but you know, it gives programmers a way of understanding what this tuple does. And just like normal tuples, you know, tuples are what constant. So I've created a tuple and if I want to change zeroth position to D, I'll get an error, okay? Similarly, if I want to do that by using index in name tuple, I'll get the same error. If I just use in my own terms column notation, 
will get the same error we will get the error here also okay now since we are accessing things by column name it is not possible to have void spaces in between of the index names okay so in this particular case you can say that valid identifier name of because you cannot say id dot name space of okay there is no way for the python interpreter to know whether you have written some different command or whatever right so you cannot do that now let's talk about make function it's an inbuilt function of the name tuples and it helps to create name tuples from the list okay so let me create the channel tuple again with the name tuple as channels name and purpose and i have created a list with name of the channel and purpose of the channel this is my list okay and this list look looks like this okay code sports and programming i can create my name tuple by calling underscore make function and by passing list in it here is how i pass the list and here is how my name tuple entity looks like okay sorry about the names while recording this video i am realizing that the names might not be you know totally appropriate like nt i have used earlier also but i believe since it's a simple thing you understood what it meant okay so this is all about named tuples okay i hope and believe that i have explained the same in the easiest possible way thank you all thanks for watching we will meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care